Welcome to the next part of the series about so-called optimization videos. In each video, I test one or more settings often recommended by those promising to make your PC 10 times faster without any hardware upgrades. As I mentioned in my previous video, and I will probably repeat this every time, if your PC currently runs a game with 30 FPS, there is nothing you can do to make it run with 300 FPS unless you drastically reduce the graphics settings and the resolution. Do you know what 10 times difference in FPS means? This is roughly the difference between the performance of GTX 460 video card from 2010 and RTX 3060 released 11 years later. I am making these videos to help you avoid making useless changes to your system, which sometimes can even make it unstable. Even if you make those changes, you may start thinking that something is wrong with your system when you don't get the results you hoped for. But let's get back to the topic of today's video. I will test the different power plans you can set in Windows 10 and 11. Changing the power plan is shown as a miraculous step in most of these optimization videos. Let's see if changing the power plan can transform my RTX 3080 into 4080, or why not into something from the future. But at least I hope that after so many hours of testing, this video will at least deserve you to hit the like button. That is more important to me. For each game, I use the maximum graphics settings to be sure that my GPU will need and use more power. I enabled the ultimate power plan, which is hidden by default. It says that it provides ultimate performance for high-end PCs, whatever that means. I hope that my test system still qualifies as high-end. There is also a high-performance power plan and a balanced that balances performance with energy consumption on capable hardware. Again, whatever that means. The first test is with Counter-Strike 2, 4K resolution and very high preset. As you can see, I get the same average FPS with all power plans. You are probably disappointed, but I am not surprised. Second game, Cyberpunk. 4K resolution, high graphics settings, and no DLSS or other resolution scaling enabled. This is the in-game benchmark. I ran each test several times to be sure that I got consistent results. Zero difference here. And with that zero chance that my 3080 video card can suddenly transform it into 4080. Diablo 4, 4K resolution, and maximum settings. The first two plans provide the same average FPS. Ultimate is ahead with a minor difference. Again, I test everything several times and check for any accidental drops in performance that could affect the final result. Forza Horizon 5, 4K resolution, anti-aliasing turned on, and extreme preset. Same race. Here you can see the average FPS at the end of the race, which is around 4 minutes long. No difference. Another beautiful game, Riders Republic, 4K resolution and maximum settings. Again, no difference. The game also has its benchmark and the results are the same. The last test I will show you is with the finals. 4K resolution, maximum settings, including ray tracing. DLSS is disabled. Zero performance difference. I tested 10 more games from different genres and couldn't find even a single example that deserves to be shown in this video. If you are getting different results, feel free to share them in the comments below with some information about your system configuration and the game. It is possible that in certain rare circumstances, changing the plan can lead to some performance improvement probably in some laptops, if they use any hardware-based optimization technologies that depend on the power plan. It is also possible that the power plan affects the performance if your laptop runs on battery. I didn't test that, but after all, who plays games on a laptop without a charger? So, according to my tests, you shouldn't expect any meaningful performance difference in games when you change the power plan. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. You can find a link to all videos from this series in the description below. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.